again everyone welcome back to the channel a couple of months ago i bought this kramer guitar kramer pacer uh, pretty nice guitar got a really good deal on this uh, did a review on it a while back uh, and said thought it was a good guitar especially considering the price that i paid for it however i've had it a couple of months now there's a couple of things that i'm not really too fussed about so if you look on the back in the back cavity I've took the plates off so I don't like this thin block and I don't like the mini pots and I definitely don't like that mini toggle switch for changing the pickups so I'm gonna have a go at fitting a Floyd Rose brass block I don't know if this will fit I'm hoping it will it might do it might not and I've also bought some new springs uh, because these seem a bit loose to me and they don't seem to be pulling it back into tune enough uh, it's not bad but I think it could be better so we'll just have a quick listen at it as it is now before I make the changes because when I change these pots and the wiring and the capacitor and everything it's probably going to change the sound of the guitar so this is what it sounds like at the minute this is the neck pickup <laughs> with the tone full up I turn the tone off uh, middle position everything up full Bridge pick up, tone up full. Tone fully off. But we'll just do a quick dive bomber too and see if it stays in tune. but you can hear it has gone out of tune a bit if I pull the bar up sharp it might correct it yeah so it's not bad but I think it could be better and I think changing those springs will help so I'm going to try that rather than just tighten these screws up because I don't want to over tighten them because it's perfectly balanced, it's perfectly level. If I tighten those screws up, it's going to affect that balance. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to do this work, change the pots, change the switch and uh, see if I can get that brass block to fit in place of this thinner one. Uh, and then I'll come back and we'll have another listen at the guitar. Before I do that though, as ever, if you wouldn't mind helping me out, subscribe to the channel, it doesn't cost you anything uh, and it will help me out. Uh, leave a like, a comment, all that good stuff. But without further ado, I'm going to go and do the work on the guitar and then I'll come back and we'll give it another listen.
that's everything fitted to the guitar you have a look you can see that new block the new springs the new pots the new switch uh, new capacitor okay let's have a quick listen at the guitar so that this is the neck pickle everything up full <laughs> cleaning up nicely now which it wasn't doing before with the original pots on I've barely rolled that volume down I roll it all the way down So that's the neck pickup. This is both pickups again, everything's up full. Again, roll that middle volume down a bit. Back up, roll the neck volume down a bit. So I'm getting a lot more tones out of the guitar now roll the tone down everything's up full at the minute that's tone fully off that's tone about halfway up up full bridge pick up everything up full tone fully off tone halfway up and back up full again so straight away those those uh, pickups <clears throat> which sounded good sorry which sounded good to start with they just sound a lot better there are much more life in them more presence uh, they sound great then so let's have a go with the whammy bar <laughs> Thank you. 
so again you can probably hear it's staying in tune much better now so that's with those new pots new switch and new springs and new tremolo block so these springs the much harder than the old springs that were on so these two screws here they were screwed almost all the way in with the other springs and it still wasn't returning to, to pitch properly uh, but these springs are much harder much tauter and uh, I've not had to screw them in anywhere near as far to get the bridge nice and level and it's returning to pitch a lot better so it was a good guitar before this is a great guitar now uh, the pots that I've used I've used Bones 500k <coughs> 500k pots for the volumes uh, and then I've used a CTS 250k for the tone and I've put an orange drop capacitor to replace the old one I've redone all the wiring and as you can see I've changed that silly little mini toggle switch for a proper three-way switch uh, I've had to use these odd knobs to put on the volume and tone controls because they were all I could find uh, but I will get some new knobs for it at some point no doubt but yeah this is a great guitar now and bear in mind I only paid £199 for this guitar so £199 and the upgrades have cost me about £50 they probably cost you a bit more today because a lot of these parts I'd already got I've only really bought the block and the springs everything else I already had uh, but even even at today's prices those upgrades would probably cost you about 60 60 to 65 pounds so not a lot of money really uh, so this guitar I still come in at under £250 even after I've spent on those upgrades and for £250 it's a pretty good guitar <laughs> There we go, that's the Kramer Pacer. That's it from me this week, folks. Uh, just hope that gives you some idea of what just making a few decent quality upgrades to a guitar, what a difference it can make. Uh, this is a great guitar now. Plays really great, sounds great. So I'm, I'm well happy with it. But anyway, that's the video from me for this week. I'll try and get another one up for you next week and uh, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.